spirituality and sexuality, are there any two concepts more aligned? Yet for many, these two aspects of human life seem so distinctly different and separate, so distant from each other as to have nothing in common. Still, when joined together, they enable the highest forms of love, human conception, birth, growth, creativity, happiness, and the joys of living. Spiritual love is embodied in our sexuality throughout human history over many thousands of years. Spirituality and sexuality have been understood, enjoyed, celebrated as what it means to be lovingly human. Those familiar with the Bible will know the, the book, Song of Songs. That book graphically depicts the physical, sexual passion and spiritual love between two people. What's clear from this book, even though God is never mentioned, is that human sexuality and spirituality can be celebrated in the context of our self-giving love shared through lives well lived. I was fortunate as a child to have a mother who emulated this union of sexuality and spirituality in self-giving love through her entire life. At the age of seven, she explained to me the biology of males and females and that sharing one's sexuality in a loving context is a most wonderful and joyful thing. It was many years later, after I became a clergy member of the Presbyterian Church USA and a marriage and family therapist, I was invited, along with a psychologist and medical professionals, to participate in a discussion of sexuality and spirituality with the junior and senior high youth groups. It's important that children grow to understand that their physical sexuality is not divorced from their spiritual need to receive love and give love. We are sexual, spiritual beings who come together for a variety of productive reasons. In addition to procreation of our human species, we join others in co-creation. Those are projects reaching out in love with others through multiple forms of creativity, hospitality, and acceptance. No matter where we find ourselves on our personal timeline through life, we are each headed toward the next transition until we achieve the final transformation at the completion of this life. This need not be a distressing reality. It is based on truth, and because we know it's coming, we can prepare. Our spirituality and sexuality significantly determine how we journey through life. Many are now on a path of loneliness, moving forward through each stage in life with activities that do little more than fill time to obscure the loneliness. Others choose a different path. Many search for creativity and joy-filled communion with others who have chosen that similar path. Spirituality, lived out, embodied in our sexuality, guides us toward fulfillment through creative sharing with others. And it makes no difference whether we are surrounded by people in a workplace or family, whether our Facebook account is connected to hundreds of friends, whether we are married, single, or in a committed monogamous relationship, have multiple relationships, or choose to be celibate. Regardless of our choice of gender affiliation or attraction to others, we continue throughout our lives as sexual, spiritual beings. Both are gifts to use in the celebration of our whole, complete humanness. Spiritual sexual solitude enables us to shift away from the busyness of the world 
with its many distractions promising to somehow mask and manage our loneliness. Spirituality, gently, quietly, invites us to a space of reflection, perhaps prayer, a tranquil place of peace where there are no demands laid upon us or promises made to fulfill us, to make us more whole somehow or somehow more complete than we already are. Sexuality and spirituality align to support the human quest to overcome isolation, loneliness, and meaninglessness in our living by uniting both the physical and the spiritual in loving, joyful, purposeful, peaceful solitude. Loneliness gives way to allow us to join in a co-creative dance of love, freedom, and justice with others. The movements of sexuality with spirituality remind us of our human choices. We may try to isolate ourselves from the world's pain and suffering filled with injustices, cruelty, and the hardships experienced by all. We may deny we are created to be spiritually and sexually compassionate and loving, or we may join with others, reaching out in solidarity, hospitality, creative peacefulness. Then we join others trusting that human union can provide life-affirming creativity rather than further empty isolation or even destruction, destructive relations between strangers who can be Come, enemies. Our joy-filled option is to discover that our sexual, spiritual home is within each one of us. As we then reach out and share the gift of who we are, our very humanity. Sexuality is the embodiment of our spiritual quest for new life born out of a human hopefulness that life is not ruled by loneliness, despair, tragedy, war, or death. Spirituality found within sexuality is the joining together of people for pleasure, play, procreation, and co-creation. It is that but more. Our spiritual sexual nature spawns all our creative instincts through life, well beyond procreation. As such, we can give and receive the gifts of loving support, guidance, comfort, hospitality, all the vital nutrients to keep us biologically and spiritually alive.